Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now here we are this morning at the chicken coop. Now it's all complete now and voted by us as Australia's best designed chicken coop. Now as you can see what we have is three bays on my left and I have three bays on my right and joining those bays together is a central corridor that we can see running through the middle here. Now that central corridor is covered and what we have is we can collect our own rainwater um, for the irrigation of the chicken coop across. And we've got two tanks there that um, for, uh, sort of fulfill all our requirements over the winter and summer periods. Now, each of these bays are six meters by four meters. And the way that we're sort of working through that is that the chickens will always have two bays. We'll be harvesting or um, putting in our vegetable crop on two bays and then two bays are always left as a rest um, and what we're finding is that um, this has been up and running now or half of it's been up and running now for a, closely a, about 18 months two years something like that and what we're finding is that when we release the chickens into one of the bays that we've finished our harvest and everything from it takes them around about a month to six weeks to sort of clear back um, back to, to dirt again. So then we, at that point there, we put in a cover, cover crop. We let that grow and develop and, and rest. We will um, slash that back down, or in turn, we release the, the chickens into that area. They clean all that up for us, and then that's now ready for um, planting out seeds and seedlings ready for a harvest on top. So, in saying all that though, what I want to do is take you inside for a tour and show you some of the features that we have. And I think you'll find that it's a, a system that works autonomously. So, we can leave this chicken coop vegetable garden at any point and it's all fully automatic. Irrigation is all, all on tires and in, um, no, please. All the irrigation's all on timers. All the chicken feed is all on, um, and watering is, is all automated. Um, the only thing that we really need to do is then just top up their feed. And that's roughly around about once a week, or every week and a half or something of the sort like that. So, but anyway, in saying that, I'll take you in and I'll show you what we've got going on. So I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are inside the chicken coop. And like I was saying before, this is our central corridor, and which is covered. And like I was saying is that that then collects our, a lot of the rainwater that we have for the irrigation of this whole system. Now, on my left-hand side here, we've got three bays. And what we've done is basically enabled, we've just got gates that we can just then open and close. Let chickens in, let chickens out, so we can manage the whole system that way. Now in particular, like this bay here, we're just doing a little bit of an experiment with our stone fruit. So we've got some raised beds um, that we're just trying out. And we've planted peaches and apricots. We've got oaks in there, um, some cherries and a few other bits and pieces. So we're just gonna wait, let these ones do their thing over winter, um, germinate and then come spring, we're up and running. So this is something new for us here at Fat Cow Farm. Um, each one of those runs is close to, we've put in, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 seeds. Um, and we'll just see what happens and then we'll take those those seedlings out um, once they've been germinated and, 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 you know, around about six, five to six um, hundred or 600 mil high, we'll then transplant those back out into the orchard. So it works out really well. In this one here, We've got our um, leftovers, or we've really come to the end now of our summer harvest. So we've got tomatoes and corn and zucchinis and cucumbers and a lot of things like that. So we're about to open this one up now and let the chickens clean that up for us. And what they'll do is they'll take around about that six to seven week period to get that right back down to dirt. We'll just give it a quick little clean up with the bits that they haven't eaten and then we'll put a cover crop in that one and again we'll then start 
turning over and that one will be then ready for summer next year. So as we keep on coming through, what we've got is our workbench. And so we harvest all our fruit and everything here. Um, we've got running water. So that's just all coming off our solar pump system. And you'll see that on previous videos, how we've set up our irrigation and, and things like that as a part of the water setup that we have here. Coming through, what we've done here is that over summer, um, we planted a lot of sunflowers. So what we wanted to do was get close to having a, a system where we could actually start our own harvesting for sunflower seeds. And this one here, I think was a byproduct of around about four or five heads that we were given. Um, we dried those off, soaked them and then planted them out. And so this year we've got truckloads and we're still going through the harvest now. And, but again, what we'll do is we'll let the chickens come through this one once we're finished and, and away we go from there. At the rear, we've got the, the chicken roost. And again, on previous videos, you'll see how we've set up this roost. So we've just got a simple ladder getting the, the chickens off the ground. Um, so in summer, we've got a, a mesh system on the floor. So they've got a good ventilation coming through and, and you know, it doesn't smell too bad up here. Over winter, we put a straw base down just to keep them a little bit warm. We have an automatic water system. So this is just pumped in um, from, the, from the rainwater harvest. And then they can then have their drinking system and everything else that's all ready to rock and roll. And then over to these bays here, we were doing a little bit of experiment with some grasses. So this is a, a rye grass, and I, we wanted to see how well that happened or how, that, how well that grew over the summer period. And we were stoked with the results. So as you can see here, um, you know, that's really coming together. So what we'll do is we've had the chickens running backwards and forwards in, out of this one, but that's just about ready now for them to jump in there and, and have a good feed. You can see with the um, bay number five here, that this is what happens once we release the, the chickens into a bay. So this one was a winter crop. Um, we've had a green cover or green manure go through this. They've then chewed that out. And so this is now ready to be turned over and we'll put another winter crop through. So again, having that green manure and everything else coming through the system. But just as a point there, and I, I suppose this is the, the easiest one to see, all the irrigation that we have, um, we've just come up. We've got some simple taps here. And again, this is all set up on timers. So that you know, if we, we've got a, a single hose or drip irrigation system that we set up now, we plug that in and that waters basically the winter vegetables or the summer vegetables, depending on what's going on. Um, so we just hook up and every bay is set up the same way. So it makes it really, really easy for us. And then finally, this is what it all started like. So this is a, um, this is what we started with. So this is just a, a grass paddock system. The chickens have been in here now for about a day or two and already it's, the grass is starting to drop. So this will take them, I don't know, probably about a month or so just to get through the grass. They'll start scratching and you can see already where they've started chasing all the bugs and everything else. So this bay will remain open and then what we'll do is we'll send them also send them over to the summer vegetable bay where we've now finished our harvest and they'll clean up these two bays. So when we're looking at the whole system itself, like we were saying, we're, we're resting to we're growing too, and the chickens always have too. So depending on how we want to manage, we simply open and close the gates. They walk backwards and forwards and do what chickens do. And, and away we go, mate. So like I said, we've, we've been having, we've, we've had this system up and running now for close to about two years and absolutely stoked with the harvest that, we, we, that we're um, sort of maintaining. 
It did take a little bit of time, probably took about a year before it really kicked in. Our first harvest was a little bit light on, depending on your yields or like weight per se for vegetables. But as the chickens come through with their manures and the green covers and, and, and green manures are coming through the system, the whole system is working an absolute treat. Absolute treat. And if you have the space, this is really the sort of system that you can put into the backyard. You might want to have it on a smaller scale or something of the sort, but it's really something that's worthwhile. All right, so for all about your chicken coop and having your vegetable garden combination as a part of your chicken coop, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.